Hi, I'm Anthony. I'm Don. I'm Dan. And you're watching the Spear. Today we're talking about the 2021's women's volleyball season. The Spartans ended the season with 19 wins and 10 defeats. They went 13 to 5 in the Mountain West tournament and made it to the first round of the Mountain West semifinals. Historically, the women's volleyball team has its ups and downs. From 2012 to 2016, they've ended each season with a negative scoring ratio. From 2017 to 2018, they finally got some traction with some pretty positive scores. But again, they ended up falling off in the 2019 and 2020 season. This season, they got back on track with one of their best overall scores, 19 to 10. Now that's a massive gap. At the start of the season, they started out strong, only having a few losses, but a lot of wins. They struggled a few times with a couple of losing streaks as the season progressed, but it didn't really matter considering the fact that they were bringing like, wins home for, like, for their team. But just like the start, there are a few losses here and there, but they ended their season going strong, winning against San Diego State University. One thing to note is going to the Mountain West semifinals, we were confident enough in the women's volleyball team to win against Boise, Boise State for a few reasons. One, San Jose State has won both his games this season against Boise. Two, San Jose State and Boise were relatively the same this season record-wise, with Boise going 24-10 this season, while San Jose State went 19-10. So how the season was going out, I was going to give the edge to the Spartans, but we were wrong. <laughs> Looking at Boise's history, and unlike the Spartans, they've gone positive most of their season going all the way back to 2001. Also, one season, San Jose State may win against Boise, and another season, Boise may win against San Jose State. So it wasn't very cut and dry, as I assumed it would be. Boise won that final match, taking all three rounds of the Spartans and ending their season right then and there. There are a lot of great players, but some of the top players you will usually see be mentioned are. You know, we have players like senior outside opposite hitter Haley Nelson. And, yeah, she uh, uh, was recorded her ninth double double of the season against that game against Boise State, even though it was a loss. She got 11 kills and 10 digs, and she hit 0.348 for the match. And even though we lost and the season is over for her, she's graduating, she's a senior. She ends her career here at San Jose State with 1,113 kills, which is going to put her at 13th place all time, which is impressive. Like a record holder on the team. Yeah. Dan, you want to talk about Nelson? Didn't you interview her earlier in the yeah, season? Yeah. Like, honestly, she was like really cool and very like down to earth. And she, she knows that she can make like these kills or like aces, but she, is very reliant on her team to help her make those kind of like plays because she knows that it comes through teamwork. And yeah, like just like on her website page, like on SJS, like, SJSU Spartans, like they haven't even really like totaled up like what she got in 2021 yet. All we have right now from between 2018 to 2020, she has a total of 747 kills and she made like more than a few like hundred already like this season alone. So with that being said, like we already know like how great of a player she is. <clears throat> And then I guess we also have players like uh, sophomore setter Mia Schaefer. Like, Don, you got anything to say about that? Yeah, uh, I've been to a couple of their games, and, man, she's she's literally the, the middle of the offense, you know? Like, she touches the ball every single time they have the ball. It's like she's impressed. She, her assist numbers are off the charts. Like, she always is setting it every single time. I'm like, dude, like. She's a sophomore. That's impressive. So she, we still have a good future with her on the team for sure. Yeah, like and like you since you and I like didn't view her like two weeks ago too. Like she talks about how being part of like the volleyball team, she was relatively new to it along like the head coach because the head coach literally just started like last semester. Like I mean last year, like last year, yeah, actually not last semester, yeah, last year, and. Him, it being his like first year along with like Mia and like training her and all that like she attributes a lot of like what she does now for the team to the head coach so like if any of you guys like ever like watch like their games like the volleyball games and you see Mia there like all the stuff that she's been doing it's because like she stays back just to like learn like the plays for her team members because she knows how important her role is and like and just being a center I'll, uh, I'll say her stats real quick. Mia Schaefer, she finished the season with 1,039 assists, 37 service aces, and 252 digs. Impressive, man. Really impressive. 
Next, we have grad student outside hitter, Latahevai Lausi. Yeah, so I wrote my feature story about her for the magazine. And man, she has a whole family bloodline of people, like Lausi family members that are part of San Jose State Athletics, man. Her brother was a football player for five years, and now she's graduating. She stayed an extra semester to redshirt, and she had uh, injuries and COVID as well. The COVID season prolonged her staying here. So she got to add more kills to her all-time list. So she's at 1,200 and kill, ranking ninth all-time at San Jose State. La Tahibai Lausi. Like, she's, she's graduating, and it's, it's, we're going to miss her for sure on the team. She she. Finishes also uh, seventh all-time in kill attempts with 3,139. And she told me about her future. She will probably be – she'll try to be coaching uh, volleyball in the future. So stay tuned. She'll, she won't be gone forever from volleyball. And finally, we have senior liberio Sarah Smevon. Yeah, we're going to miss her as well. She's a graduate. And she's ending her season with 466 digs which is literally 29% of our uh, team's digs total out of the whole team. She's literally one third of it. Like that's impressive. Yeah. And let's and, not forget, like she has a total like between 2018 and 2020, it's 781. So adding on to that for this year, like, oh my God, like that's a lot already. If you see her like dance, we've all seen them play live and yeah. she is, she goes like she is just she does not care she's going for the ball like she hits the ground hard every time and i'm like yeah wow like she's an athlete man like she dies i would I, it looks so painful every time she does it and i'm like dude yeah. she, she gets those digs the stats it, sh it shows yeah one thing i think that's great about the overall team as a whole is their positivity like um when i was in the person um if they mess up or if the other team scores they'll you know go back together and reconvene with smiles on their faces and like pats on their backs uh, in other sports like soccer you might see like pushing or like you know getting angry or something but you know not, not in like women's volleyball team is full of positive positivity and support which i think helped them succeed this season can i jump into anthony you're right because every time even if they're losing if you watch them it, it's you know you see a champion when they're losing you know and Man, like, even though they were down, they were always like, let's go, let's go, we got this. Like, I felt encouraged watching them. And if the game was close when I was watching them, like, you rooted for them. Like, they, they went for the digs. Like, they went for the balls. Even though they were super far out, they still got it. I was like, whoa, they still got that. Like, their positive exactly. energy, they always yeah. want to be better for the team. I love yeah, it. And even if, like, they're, like, losing, like, a, like a set or, like, if they lost, like, two sets, they, they don't let it get to them. They try their best to, like, make it back. So, say, like, uh, I think – it was one of the games against like Air Force. I think it was like they won the first set and then Air Force won like the like the next two. And then they had to like bring it back. And then like I think they closed the game at like three, three, two or something like that. But yeah, it's just really impressive like how like well like these girls like push themselves to like make sure like they stay on top of things like morality wise and like mentally wise. Like it's amazing just seeing just seeing all them play. Like it's just they just stay so positive like all the time. It's it's amazing. It has to be too like they have they know they have good players on the team you know it's like it's so good to probably like have those people behind you like and just be positive and good leaders you know it's like it's damn it's, it's it was a it was a great season for the volleyball team for sure yeah. yeah it's exciting to see like um with all the new uh newer and younger players that are great like Mia Schaefer it's exciting to see how they perform in their next seasons like Oh, let's do one more shout out to the head coach. Like, this is his first real season, Trent, Trent Kirsten. Yeah. It's his first real season. Like, the last season was ridden with COVID, you know, closed downs and masks, and it was just not a regular season. Yeah. But like, this season, he, he showed he can really coach. Yeah. Like, I think another thing to mention, too, for, for this is that, like, he, because Don and I did an interview with him, too. And he said, like, last semester, when they were starting again for, like, the spring semester of, like, 2020 2021 like all the girls or the team they didn't even get they only had seven days to fully practice before they played their first game they didn't get like a month of anything in advance to actually like play together as a team so to see how far they improved from like last year up to now it's such a huge commitment to see like their determination for everything they've done so far so yeah again huge shout out to like the head coach for like the determination and all that so yeah 
Well, that's all we have for this video. I'm Anthony. I'm Don. And I'm Daniel. And you can catch us for more San Jose State's sports-related content on The Sphere.